Hey everybody, Captain Kimo here and I have another video tutorial for you. And this video will cover how to use my Captain Kimo action that I made available last month in my Captain Kimo newsletter. And if you don't have the action, you can download it. If you're watching this from YouTube, you can download it in the link below. To run this action, you will need Topaz plugins and you can learn more about Topaz at my website at CaptainKimo.com. So what does this action do? It runs a bunch of Topaz plugins like I mentioned before. And you'll end up with something like this. So this would be the original photo and after running the plugin, you'll end end up with a photo with a little more color and a little more contrast. Now to install the action you'll need to open your action window so we can go into the windows menu here and click on the actions and the action window will pop up. Now I already have the action installed. It's called Topaz Enhance and the action is Captain Chemo. Now to install the action all you have to do is click the uh, drop down menu here and load the action from here. If you click here, you'll have a window here. Just browse for the action and click it and load it. So I already have it loaded, so I'll just go back out. Now for Photoshop Elements, it's going to be a little more uh, difficult to load the action. And if you go to YouTube, just search how to install actions in uh, Photoshop Elements, and I'm sure you'll find some current information. I did do one on how to install in Photoshop Elements, but that was somewhat old, so you'll probably want something a little more recent. So I won't cover that. This is Photoshop CS6. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is select the Captain Chemo here. If you select that, you can click the play button here. And once you click the play button, it'll start playing the entire action. And this will take some time depending on your computer speed, your software, and the size of your uh, image file. So I'm going to click this and let it run. Okay, once Photoshop has completed the action, you'll get a whole bunch of layers here. And these are layers consisting of different uh, Topaz plugins. And then this would be just adjustment layers from Photoshop. So let me go ahead and just close this window out real fast. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, before here. This is the before image. And after running the action, this is the after. And this looks good as is, but let's go ahead and take a look at each layer and how we can adjust each one and fine tune the photo. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just click on the eyeball tool on each layer here and that will hide all the layers. And then we'll work from down the lower portion of the layers all the way up. So we'll start with Topaz Denoise and what this image will or what this layer will do is it will denoise the uh, photo so I'll zoom in real fast into the image and you'll see what it does here you can see a lot of the noise in the image and this will denoise the image using Topaz denoise and the next layer is Topaz adjust and this will add a little bit more drama to the image a little extra pop a little extra color to the photo so this is that's the before and then this is the after the uh, Topaz adjust also note that each layer has an opacity so if you don't want it too intense you can bring down the opacity here and that will give it just a slight effect and not an entire effect of that layer so we'll leave it at 100 since 100 looks okay and the next layer is an unsharpened layer. This will actually sharpen the image. So I can zoom in and I'll show you what it does. If I zoom in here and I click the eyeball tool off, it looks a little blurry. And then I click the unsharp and it gives it a little bit more of a, a sharper image. And next is Topaz Clean. And this will actually sharpen up a little more. So if I click on this, you can see it kind of sharpens up the image a little more, kind of cleans up the uh, the pixels also. So I zoom in on here, you can see how it's affecting the photo here. So let me click this off. This is the before and then this is the after using Topaz Clean. Before and after, you can see the, uh, the effect that Topaz Clean has on the photo. Okay, so the last Topaz plugin that I use is Topaz Lens Effect and this is gonna give the photo a deeper richer color look to the photo and sort of a dreamy image if the uh, the layer here was to be adjusted the opacity right now for this is at 20 percent if we were to bring it up to a hundred percent it'll really make the colors much more vibrant and give the image a more of a dreamy look but it's set at 20 and 20 was pretty good but I can do with a little more pop so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up to about 
35 I think would look nice. Okay, so now we start getting into all the layer adjustment. Now, the there are a few layer adjustment that will not work in to or in Photoshop Elements, and that will be the top three here. I believe that will not uh, process in Photoshop Elements. Uh, Photoshop uh, Elements will, however, process the uh, gradient map, so it'll create a gradient layer here. And the gradient layer is used to add a little uh, warm tone to the photo, and you can see this is the before and this is after. Um, it's a little warmer and if you can adjust the uh, opacity also to make it even slightly warmer and give it a little bit of a blue cast you can also adjust the cast the tone cast here if you click on this little half um, circle box you'll get options in the gradient map here and this is the color I use to create the uh, the tone and if you click on that you'll have a range here that you can select from different color tones so if we wanted a different like bluish yellowish tone we can select that you can see how it affects the photo here by selecting different uh, different colors uh, we'll go back and use just the original uh, blue red and yellow and hit OK now we'll bring this back to 5% I liked it right around there so it looks good there and the next layer here is selective color I'll click on that and this doesn't really do anything until you start adjusting the setting so if you click on the little circle here your settings should pop up in the properties window I'll just pull this down real fast and this will show you all the uh, the options in colors this will will be the uh, the colors that you'll be adjusting so you have different uh, shades here from ye from red yellow green blue or cyan blue magenta white neutral and black and you can adjust each um, color using the cyan magenta yellow and black here for each of the uh, colors here and if I were to play around with the reds here I would play around with the the cyan if I bring it down it will make the the reds more vibrant magenta it will give the reds a more of a magenta cast and the yellow if I play with that it will bring out some yellows in the reds blacks if I play with that it will make your image a little darker or the reds at least a little darker and then the same thing goes for all the other colors the yellows you can play with the cyan, the cyan in the yellow and if you bring the cyan down it will make the image a little more yellowish if you bring it up add some cyan into the yellow same thing with the magenta and as I'm doing this I usually just eye it and that's good um, th normally the only ones I adjust I won't adjust greens because there isn't any green in this photo the blues I might adjust a little bit so let's go ahead and click on the blues and then we'll just play with the cyan in the blue and it's looking good I'll bring the yellow I like bringing the yellow down on the blues just gives the blue a little more vibrancy okay next um, I can also use whites I'll play with the whites magenta would be a good one because there's a lot of magenta in this photo so let's play around with that for a second okay so after playing with the magenta we have white neutral and blacks left and I'm not gonna play around with any of that um, you can play around and see if it makes your image uh, look a little nicer whites is a good one to play around with if you're having halos you can use white to actually reduce the halo effect okay so let's move on to the next layer adjustment and that is the black and white layer adjustment and if I click on the uh, eyeball tool this will come up and what this does is you would notice the uh, transparency mode here is on uh, luminosity and this will help bring out the luminosity of each color here and we have a you can see the uh, different colors here and this is how we can adjust the luminosity of our colors so for instance red if we wanted red to be a little lighter we can bring it up here like this or if we wanted the reds to be darker we can bring it down same thing with the yellows darker or brighter greens 
won't have an effect since there's no green in the photo so let's just leave it at is uh, the cyan and the blues and the magentas so that looks good there let me see the uh, that was before and then this is the after so before and after and that looks good however I kinda like the foreground brighter it seemed to have darkened the foreground a little bit so what we'll do here is we'll just get the uh, paintbrush tool and have it on black so make sure the, your foreground color is black and we'll just do 100 percent here and we'll just paint back in that effect and we'll just erase that effect out and you can see our layer here is black from that paint and it'll just just affect the sky here so that's that's before then this is the after alright so we are on the last layer here this is the color balance layer and this is how we're gonna play around with the color balance of the image and we have three different ways of adjusting the color balance shadows midtones and highlights so we'll go ahead and start with the midtones and we can play with uh, the three adjustments here the cyans and the reds and then the magentas and the greens for the midtones and the yellows and the blues I am eyeing this as I go um, it takes a while to get used to using the color balance and I have plenty of experience from my graphic design times so last one is the highlights we'll play around with that and I would have to adjust the color balance all the time before going to press to make sure the uh, the photos come out right so and that looks good so this is the before and this is the after so there was a, a slight color shift there and that looks that looks good and we're pretty much done so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, before here so this was before and then this is after running the action and adjusting the uh, settings okay so that is pretty much it if you want to learn more about the Topaz plugin go to my website this is my webpage here it's captainchemo.com and if you scroll to the side here you'll see a little blue add button this is the Topaz uh, website or not website but the uh, page for the Topaz plugin on my webpage and you can learn more about the uh, Topaz plugins there I have uh, free trial version links and purchase links and also just some before and after images that you can check out. So until next time, this is Captain Kimo signing out.